Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's 11.25. Got my Algebra 3 class done. Freaking right. It wasn't bad at all. Looks very doable. And uh, now I'm downtown perusing Kent in between classes. I have plenty of time and there's lots of parking available, so I felt like I could leave. Um, it's beautiful, 60 sunny, and I didn't feel like walking over here. It's about a mile from campus. Um, so I'm hoping that there will be spots on the street here to get out, walk around a little bit. This is, I think they're calling it Acorn Alley or something like that. New big shopping center, doing a beautiful job, spending lots of money. Das Papa Belly, Brick Roads. If you guys remember, this is where I was running in the rain probably a month ago. I was over here for dinner with my grandparents. And we parked up here and we ate there and I had to run up and get the car and it was just a downpour and I was soaked. Hi, 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 12 o'clock and I am going past the new area that they just did and they did really well. Um, when I first came here in June for that overnight thing to, you know, the welcome experience, they were totally had it all worked on. It was all uh, just mud. And now they've turned it into this. I think I'm gonna go park now and come over and walk around a little bit. Get an up close look of where the $300 million has gone that they've put in here recently. Check this out. Did a gorgeous job with all the landscaping. Put in sod everywhere. So I'm gonna pull in here on Risman and uh, we'll go take a little walk because it's a beautiful day and uh, I'm admiring all the work that they've done, because it has paid off. Alright, so the new bricks, you can't see at the vision line, the new bricks start here. New student green, they're going to have stages and concerts and stuff out there, I suppose, and we'll take a walk down that way. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go and where not to go yet. Oh, I hope the vlog heard that. Colts on speaker, we're walking around here. Uh, I don't think I can walk over there yet, but you get the idea. Hello, it's like five something o'clock. I just mowed over there at the low setting and all of this has come down in the last 20 minutes. Um, it's not really a whole lot up there, but there's certainly a whole lot on those three pin oaks over there. So I'm going to work now on this. Yesterday when I was using this, the motor seems to be working great, the engine. However, it is not recoiling its own ripcord anymore. So I have to manually wind this up by sticking my fingers in here and, uh, and twisting it clockwise to wind it up, which is difficult because, you know, every time you do that manually, you're expanding and contracting or whatever, the piston and the cylinder. So I'm going to take it off. There's a couple screws on there. I'm going to see if I can break those free with this and see why it isn't recoiling itself. Good evening. It is just about 11.20 here in Ohio. It's actually still very nice out. It was beautiful today. It's like 60 now. At least it feels 60. I guess I'm wearing a jacket. Just watched the uh, the last presidential debate between Governor Willard Romney and President Hussein Obama. And uh, it was very good. If you didn't watch it, I'm sure it'll be on YouTube and all over the news for the next two days. Um, they both kind of played a little bit differently. Obama got right into it with his claws out, and uh, Romney kind of stood back and let him do his thing, which, which was very interesting, coming from someone who the previous two debates had been the one there to take the first swipe with the gun, you know, whatever. So uh, that was kind of cool. I think that, Obama, that Romney's trying to, be, to appear more presidential in that respect, also talking about reaching across the aisle and, and doing all the bipartisan work and with his legislature of like 78% Democrats in Massachusetts and all that stuff, which is, uh, which is good. So I think Romney did well, but I think uh, Obama did equally or, or better as well. That's terrible grammar, but you know what I mean. So it was interesting. Leave me your thoughts and, and information below. Um, one of the parts that stuck out to me was... Um, and a lot of this seems to be a seems to be symbolism through Romney's campaign. It's how we talked about how our Navy is the smallest it's been since 1916 or 17. How we only have 280 ships in comparison to 385, and how we're going to be down to 200 ships. So Obama, Obama came back and very eloquently brought out exactly what I was thinking uh, when Governor Romney said that. Um, 
And Obama said we have less bayonets now than we used to. Technology has improved. That's like Romney saying our government used to have office buildings totally full of computers and now we only have rooms full of computers. Well, think about it. Computers used to be something larger than the size of this automobile and probably about the same processing power as the processor in this 12-year-old car. Um, we no longer have the need for that much stuff to do that much power. Does that make sense? It's tired. I'm tired and it's late and I'm not speaking well, but you know what I mean. I'm not running for president. I couldn't talk up there. Anyhow, um, I took that thing off of the blower. Yeah, the, the rip cord that was not recoiling and it's inside. Spring's broken inside. I'm going to take it over to my grandfather's tomorrow or Wednesday. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'm thinking Wednesday I'll go over there, blow his roof off for him so we didn't have to get up there. And um, we're going to take it over to Lepo Equipment, see if they can take a look at it and either replace it, fix it, whatever. Because right now, if I put it back on there, I have to recoil it manually or take it off, which is only four screws. But the handle of this thing, which is very loose, which I need to fix while I have it taken apart, um, is in the way of the screw, so it's difficult to get to. And this is a two minute and 50 second clip, almost three minutes, I apologize for that. Anyways, in yesterday's vlog, uh, I mentioned the song Ohio by Crosby, Steele's Nash and Young. <laughs> God, it is late, I can't even come up with that. Um, if you looked it up, Tony on Facebook, you were number one. You figured out the meaning to that first. It's a song written, protest um, song in response to the to the events of May 4th, 1970 at Kent State, which I think that was today. I filmed a lot of the memorials and a bullet hole in, in um, a Don Drum work of art that's on campus, and they just opened a visitor center, and that is, uh, that, that's huge in the history of this country, and especially the history of, the, of that specific university in this town and this state. So, um, yeah, you got that. Uh, if you want to read more about it, kent.edu slash May 4, I think, or uh, Wikipedia. But uh, in the relation to me, both my parents went to that university within a couple years after it happened, so I feel like I have a somewhat closer connection. I remember going over there probably 10 years ago with my mom, and she tried to explain it to me and point out all the significant events and, and what happened and how, and I don't really remember it. But now going there, it's, it's interesting. It's very interesting history, and uh, it's important. So, just wanted to talk about that, and uh, that is it. I'm not going to waste all of your time tonight. I got texts coming in. I got to go ahead and go to bed because I got class tomorrow at 11, and I'd like to sleep until about noon, so that's not going to work. But I will talk to you guys tomorrow on, I believe, 681 or 682. Good night. Sleep well.